We first met Muffin at a Boxing Day party at a friend's place on their property and they had this litter of gorgeous little pups and we'd always sworn that we would never get a working dog because we live in town but Muffy was just very slow. She was sitting a lot, very slow compared to the other dogs. We figured obviously something was not quite right and we thought yeah maybe we could handle that one in town. There was a very good reason that Muffy was slow which we discovered gradually over a number of vet visits and some blood tests and that was that she has an autoimmune inflammatory condition which affects mostly her low spine and sacrum area of her pelvis, uh, also her neck. Thankfully she can run which she loves doing and then we have to be quite careful about the amount that she does. But because Muffy is such a keen worker she's actually been helping us create jobs for her. One of the ones she came up with so when it's time to get up she'll come in and she'll put her head next to the bed and I will have to pat her <laughs> and she will stay there and keep pushing her head against my hand until I get up. She, she's very persistent. She doesn't let me stay in bed because <laughs> it's time for food and then it's time for exercise and that's exciting. Muffin has an amazing memory um, and we've, we've discovered this partially through one game that we do, we play with her which is We've been gradually collecting more and more toys as she kind of semi-destroys them, which, which dogs love to do. She now has 10 toys, each of which she can go and fetch by name when we say them. Even if they're all in a big pile on the floor, she will get whichever one we've asked for. And um, the limit on that, I think, is only based on how many we've bought. You know, like she's, she has an amazing brain. She's a very clever girl. Uh, what makes her happy is regularly having to use her brain and figure things out and do activities that feel like she's achieving something because she has such a strong work drive and she would not be happy if we just went away to work all day and left her on her own. She would, she would be doing what Martin McKenna uh, described as creating work for herself which basically means doing naughty stuff. So yeah, definitely don't recommend a working dog to anyone who lives in town and um, has regular working hours. But if you are at home and if you have the energy and motivation to do this for years and years, <laughs> to, to spend a lot of time with your dog doing activities, then it's very rewarding. To, you know, you, she has a lot of joy and a lot of happiness, a lot of energy that, you, that she gives to you, um, which is quite special. Like she makes me smile and laugh multiple times a day. She's, she's a gorgeous girl.